our today's topic is taskbar options let us first of all go to taskbar and right click and taskbar settings so before doing taskbar settings let us uh, know what is the taskbar so taskbar means the bar that contains the tasks for example we have opened here google chrome as you can see let us click on this so this is one task we the, the services are also open this is the second task and we have just opened the taskbar settings this is the third task and fourth and so on so these all opened things open things may be folders that may be softwares that may be functions these all are called tasks or they are placed at taskbar so let us do the settings let us go to taskbar settings then taskbar alignment that means do you want the taskbar icons to be on the center or on the left side so let us click on the drop down menu and left as you can see the icons have moved to the left now you can also again set them in the center next important option we have automatically hide taskbar in the desktop mode so what does it do sometimes uh, some of the person face this problem that uh, they do not find their their taskbar so click on and as you can see the taskbar is gone now again it is gone then you hover over the taskbar it is again showing then again hidden showing hidden if you want to set it back you just have to go taskbar settings and then automatically hide taskbar let us switch it off now you have got the taskbar again next option we have the show task view button it shows all the tasks that are running currently how let us click on the task view button here and is it is showing all the tasks you can choose any task to open that task for example we have we can open uh, our book in here so click on the book and we are in the book you can also use the task view button with the shortcut alter plus tab you need to hold the alt key then press the tab key again and again then you need to focus on one task for example let us say the book and leave the alter key so it will open the book after task view button we have show search button click on search button to search something for example we want to open powerpoint so we can enter powerpoint in here and then here is the powerpoints so just like that you can open anything you want okay, so next option we have customize our system tray system tray is this area here as you can see so here are some of the softwares that are open some of the functionalities that are open in system tray generally we see the date and time the languages touch keyboard wi-fi microphone and some other open softwares you can move any software just by drag and drop click drag and drop you can also move back for example this internet download manager so click here then click here and move to here you can also customize your system tray using this option turn system icons on or off click on this option so we don't have volume button in here let us turn it on and here we have our volume button click and we can adjust the volume next option we have managing icons on taskbar so we have these all icons you can pin or unpin any of them for example here we have google chrome so this is kind of a shortcut for google chrome so right click unpin from taskbar unpin means it will delete the google chrome from here basically it is not going to delete the google chrome from the computer it will be uh, eliminating this uh, shortcut here so if you want to bring it back then click and uh, search for click on the search button search for google chrome so right click on google chrome then pin to taskbar so now as you can see we have got the google chrome shortcut in here again manage the icons in the start button 
so what is the start button this is the start button here and these are the icons if i want to pin the ms word software here in the start menu then i have to search for that so click on the search button then go to word then right click and pin to start so now let us again go to the start button and uh, scroll button and uh, this is the word in here it is placed here you can move it upward by just dragging and dropping as you can see i can move it for example in here so i can easily access the word from here or you can also pin this in the taskbar as well so it is pinned in the taskbar you can also use from the taskbar as a shortcut next we have arrow peak button arrow peak button is on the right lower corner so this button is used for minimizing or maximizing all the windows let us try it out so click to open this window drag it here click to open the next window drag it here and uh, for example one more so these are the three windows we want to minimize all these windows in one go so let us click on the arrow peak button so as you can see peak button if you are doing a lot of work simultaneously you can make use of this button this is very much useful button if you want highlighted mouse pointer you can download it from the internet let us go to google chrome let us open google and search for this thing highlighted mouse pointers dot cur files you need to search this on google and you need to click on the first link you can choose any desired mouse click on this for example and download it then ok so it has been downloaded open folder so it is placed in here let us double click on this and extract ok so as you can see here we have all the pointers these are placed in this PC downloads and compressed from here you can set any mouse pointer how click on search button then mouse settings after mouse settings we have to go to advanced mouse settings and afterwards we have to choose the pointer and browse browse for the pointer so where our pointer is located that is located in as you can see this PC downloads and compressed so this PC then downloads then compressed here you can choose any desired mouse for example I would choose this yellow one click on this and open so this is open now and you can apply it and ok as you can see guys it is now more highlighted and it is visually representing itself properly so you can use it to create your own videos as well so that's it for today's session guys if you like the session you can subscribe the channel you like the video or you can also share the videos to the needy ones thanks for watching have a good day